Good morning, everyone. It's Tremia, and my voice is kind of gone. Um, it's due to the, like, I can't take my antibiotic anymore, so they started me on this. It's pentanidine or something like that. Nebupan. Oh, there's, I have to do a breathing treatment first, and then I do the breathing treatment of the antibiotic. And it just like cooked my throat. And but I only have to do it once a month. But um, so that's a good thing. And then plus I don't have to be having antibiotic in my stomach every day, you know, making my stomach sick. So this is a small price to pay. <laughs> um, as you can see, my rash, it's it's still here, and it still itches and it burns. <laughs> and I keep the cold compresses on it but it is breaking up you can tell it's breaking up and I and not as angry and it's not mad at me as it was so hopefully my body's starting to figure out what to do with what's going on and I know one thing they said is like if this is what my outside looks like you know we don't know what it's doing to the inside but um I'm down to 60 milligrams by oral, by prednisone today. And so I did, over the weekend, I got like two hours of sleep here, two hours of sleep there. So I was getting some sleep, so. And um, when I got down to the 125 milligrams, I wasn't feeling so wired. And so that's, so that was a relief. Um, it's just crazy, crazy to think of those amounts of prednisone and for how long I've been doing them. I, I dread the side effects because I'm already swollen some, but when you do it by IV, you know, you see the side effects six months out. But it'll all be good. It'll all be good. And I did finally... Because I was eating just what I wanted to eat, and then I made myself sick one night. <laughs> and I just said, no, that, that, uh -uh. <laughs> it's not worth it. I'll just, you know, eat slowly, eat when, I, when I'm full, stop eating, and, you know, take care of it right. I, I pigged out for as much as I could. <laughs> and it, I was going to allow myself longer, actually, but my body just couldn't do it. Um, tomorrow I go back, I'm seeing my rheumatologist weekly until all of the rashes cleared up. Um, today I actually, I get to do the IV Benadryl push, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, get me some sleep and get me some instant relief, because I mean, I, it, it burns so horribly just right across here, and my ears are completely raw and they're raw on the inside of them in my nose you can tell it's gone up into my nose and my nose is completely raw on the inside and I've been putting like Neosporin with the pain relief on a cotton swab and using doing it to my nose for relief and that's really helped and other than that you know just trying to the, the Oklahoma heat we've been over the hundreds every single day and the winds are like in the 30s and 40s, and it's just miserable outside. So I'm so fortunate that I don't have to be out in it. And the post office just called in and interrupted my vlogging. I have no idea where I was or anything. But I had an incident this weekend with our letter carrier. We got a new mailman. We had the most wonderful mail lady, and she knows that I've been disabled for years. And if we have like certified mail, or something she'll bring it directly to the door all the mail and everything and you know help me get it signed and everything and this guy I watched is like on Thursday morning I was waiting for my RN to show up the front door was open he pulled up to the curb put our mail in our mailbox and drove off and I told Sheldon you know mailman's already been here go get the mail and he went out and got it, and there was deals that we had to go to the post office to sign for certified letters that we didn't answer our door. And that's irritating, even if you're healthy and, and you can do it, let alone not being healthy. 
And so I, I call the 1-800-USPS number and just, I file a complaint. And they have the postmaster from our, our post office, that's the fourth time she's called me since that phone call. And she goes, no, we switched our, our carriers around. And she goes, unfortunately, you went from one extreme to the other. She goes, we've got so many complaints on this gentleman's attitude, and it needs to be taken care of. Because when he did show back up to re-deliver it Saturday morning, he didn't even ring my doorbell. The only way I knew that he was there is because Buddy stirred. And so I went to the door, and he was already halfway back to the truck. And I opened the door. He goes, you got something to sign for. And I said, yes, I'm standing there in a walker. I in my pajamas, you know, I don't think I look healthy. <laughs> and and he's expecting me to walk out there to where he was. And I said, so we I said, can you please bring it here? And he just kind of looked at me. And then I said, you said I had something I have to sign for. And he said, yes. And he goes, he handed it to me and I signed it. And he goes, you also have to print your name. Can't you see that below there? It says printed name. I said, well, actually, sir, no, I can't. And so anyway, postmaster, she wasn't too happy, but she said she's glad that I, that something was said because it has to be taken care of. Enough complaining about the postman. He's a jerk. And plus, I know I've got a box that's floating out there somewhere that um, uh, it, sh it should be showing up today. Uh, I think today was the last day of it. You, get, you know, it gives you like a week's time period, but I think he was sitting on it for a little bit. Um, okay, Dwayne and I, we are going to do the blog TV. We are going to do it this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll put more information down in my comment section, the below bar, so you guys will know. And what you need to do is go to blogtv.com, set you up an account, and choose uh, subscribe to me. Do a search for Tremia Appling or Trey Appling, T-R-E-A-P-P-L-I-N-G, and subscribe. And then it'll give you this uh, choice, like to be notified by email or text uh, five minutes prior to us logging on or... Uh, right when we log on and everything. So, uh, we, I got such wonderful response and a lot of response from men, especially wanting to hear, you know, what Dwayne has to say. And so, you know, we're ready for it. It's going to be fun. I just wish we could see you guys back, <laughs> but uh, you'll see us and we'll be reading what, like you chat in, like what you um, type into us and we'll be answering questions there. But I need to go on there more and find out, like, how to kick people out, like, if they get in there and start saying bad things and stuff, because I've, I've watched a few, and, you know, there always seems like some weirdo shows up, but there's a way to block them, so I need to figure out how to do that kind of stuff. But be patient with this, because we might be on right at 7, or we might be fiddling trying to get on, but, you know, we will be there. So it's going to be this Wednesday night. And I have, it's June something, possibly close to July. I don't know. I don't know what our dates are right now. But this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And from there, I know everybody's in different times and places and all that kind of stuff. And from there, we can move forward and, you know, make different times if we need to and try to do things like that. And also, I can do them during the daytime, like when Dwayne's at work, you know, just specifically... Um, yeah, I can answer what I can answer, but I'm running out of time. I wanted to let you know about the blog TV and I'll put all the information down in the info bar so you guys can get set up and get in there. I'll see you guys in the next video.